Good evening, just going to do a quick food review to catch up on things that I've missed out on lately. So I'll start off with last week I had some plant pioneer, no chicken Kiev, Kievs, and they were delicious and they were made with mushrooms and um, Satan and they were absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10 straight away just to get the ball rolling positive and then another. These are on offer for a few weeks, they're not on offer anymore. They're only paying for 10 now. They're, they've gone up to £2 but they're still worth it. Egg, meat free sausages. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. And now I've actually got the scores written down. I've got the scores written down, look at me. Um, I had some of the Alpro Creamy Caramel. I've still got one. I'm using them as a treat. They're lovely. I gave them, I like Alpro yogurts and I like their custard, so that's no reason. Give them 8 out of 10. Simple as that, really, to be honest. Egg, meat free. 9 out of 10 on the XO by Seth, because I've written that down actually. And then I had the MS. I went to a garage and got an MS plant kitchen, and it's a. Indian style, no chicken wrap. I give it a 7 out of 10. It's nice, it's very nice, but it's £4. I mean, you can get a big baguette of, I mean, cheese baguette from um, Greg's for £3, and that's a bit steep, really, to be honest, when you get meal deals at the other place when they've got them in store, but at the moment, you're not getting them in store. I've been to um, Morrison's a few times, and it's just not happening at the moment, let's be honest. The Tesco's plant, different texture because of the lack of mushroom. I've done them before, but I'm going to give them 9 out of 10 as well, let's be honest. And I'm going to go down a quick route. Of some, I've got a box. Which, uh, no, that's not the box for it, sorry. Last week I had a KFC vegan burger for the first time in 18 months, probably. And I was really disappointed. It was cooked fresh, so give it. It was just burger, bun, burger for the price option of a soft drink which you don't I don't really drink soft drinks can have the fries because it's good to I'm just gonna give it a five out of ten just putting it straight out there while I'm here and I'm having this tonight irony but this is not from tonight the Sainsbury's vegetable biryani I really like it so um I find the sorry about this I'm trying to find where I did it that one's done where did I find here we are, 8.5 out of 10. Let's be honest, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And there aren't all as generous as that. There are quite a few generous ones. I've had some classic. That is a staple. That was from a few weeks ago. That's got a use by date of the 4th of September on it there. And I'm having it again tonight. Not that one, obviously, but you know, I'll just pick one up. So then we go for the Tofu Company. Extra firm, very good. Big box was on offer the other week, so I picked it up. I've given that 9 out of 10. I like that. I like the cold one. So let's be honest. Um, Vegetable samosas from Sainsbury's, they're vegan. I've given them 7 out of 10. And I've given the Sunny and Barge 7 out of 10 as well, which may be a bit mean actually, since that's exactly the same meal with a little bit of um, mango chutney I'm having tonight. So maybe I'm not giving it a service and I might change that shortly. But at the moment, I'm giving both of them 7 out of 10 with a vegetable very biryani. Class, it's very good, an 8.5 out of 10. Soya based like schnitzel. They were on offer at Tesco's. They're quite often on offer. Eight out of ten. Great little product. I like it, so I'm gonna leave it there. No. As the plant based dirty fries. The thing is, let me go and down here. It's all pretty reasonably good. It's very good. Didn't like them. Simple as. I had them with a burrito, vegan burrito, and I gave them four out of ten. Which is a shame, really, because it is a shame. Just leave it there. It's it's four out of ten. I won't be buying them again. Richmond meat-free sausages. Eight to say it, because they're the biggest corporate in the pork sausage meat. They're using all the crap in them. I suppose you could say no animal goes to waste with Richmond's meat sausages, um, but um, their vegan ones are pretty bloody good, unfortunately. And I give them eight point five out of ten. I was impressed, but. Light for light, I will be going for the Equins instead in future. And whilst in there, Tesco's have done a new line, which they put next to the vegans' products, of um, like vegetables. I'll have to do a video in Tesco's and pick it up. It gives you the assumption that you're picking up some vegan or vegetarian food, and it's not. It's actually blooming meat with veg, and that's wrong. The way they've strategically done it is a bit underhand and a bit dirty, you know? So we get that. Um, I had the Costa almond cheese 
Oh, and we'll have our ham and cheese toasty. Um, I can't tell you. I don't want to be giving it false price. You're saying I've said something like that and I can't find it now. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 because it's been a little bit of a staple when I've needed it. This isn't bacon bacon. I've given it 7.5 out of 10 and the reason is, you can see there, it's iron salt. And we have too much salt in our diet as it is. And this is the thing, I wanted to oh separate video on Wicked Kitchen, but I need to get there. And I'm, you know, I keep saying I'm gonna do it and I haven't done it, so I need to talk to my family member who works there. I had the same time as I had the dirty fries for dinner, I had the Asda burrito. There. And I'm gonna figure out, I don't wanna undersell something. I know I've measured it before. Um, I haven't put it down on here. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It's not a bad thing. Now I'm gonna be confession now. There's me criticizing Wicked Kitchen all the way and they do these five Jazzy Jan donuts and I'm on a bit of a diet now. They're vegan obviously, they're Wicked Kitchen. They're nice, but they're absolutely astronomical in there. Even though the fat's 5.6, saturates 1.7, sugar's 6.1, salt 0.2. They are so calorific. I had to, and I'll be honest, they're, they're a lot smaller than a donut. And I'll blim in five in two minutes, like the glutton that I am, at, which is my own fault. So I'm trying to avoid them. Um, what I will say is, um, yeah, amazing treat if you want it, I suppose. Then I got some Tesco crunchy taco shells, quite simply, six out of 10, they did the job. I add them with some Plant Chef meat-free mints. And my advice to you on this one is, buy the frozen. Oh, I should say the taco shells, even though they've got a sell-by date of, well, still in the sell-by date, they'd still be in the sell-by date now if I find it. April 2022, they were quite soft for something that was meant to be crunchy. That's a criticism, but yeah, so the Plant Chef meat-free mints, Tesco's, really disappointed with. Oh, I gave the, Tesco Wicked Kitchen, sorry, I'm going a bit on for tangent. Five out of ten, I did write down. Very small. 139 calories each day. I was one, there's five of them. So it's a real calorific meal. You know, it's a treat, but they are really small for the calories. And the burrito, I gave five out of ten when I make it. I'll tell you why. Oh, give it a star though. It had a 100% recyclable, a recyclable tray, 100% recyclable tray. And so... I'm going to go back to the seven, not the five. I was being a bit mean because of the blooming. I think it was because of the dirty fries at the time. The mince free meat from Tesco's. A bit of a disappointment, to be honest with you. Um, I'm pretty sure I gave it four out of ten. And that's what I'm going to stick with now, even if I have anything. But it's not all doom and gloom. Tesco's Plant Chef Margarita Pizza is standard at £2.50. It's a blooming lovely pizza. And I'm not a cheese flamboyant cheese on toast. But £2.50, it's a treat. Excellent value for money, 8.5 out of 10. I'm gonna leave that there. Oh look, I had another one of those wraps, but that's because it was, I'm hungry. When I get them at lunchtime, and they're expensive. And I have the Plant Pioneer Lemon Cake. 8.5 out of 10, very good, very nice. I put, in fact, I had a quick look, I wasn't gonna buy one, £3.50 though for that, which is the same price as the Bosch one. I wasn't gonna buy it tonight, but I had a quick nose down that aisle. They have the chocolate one in galore. Plant Pioneer, no lemon cake. So that's just a good thing about the lemon cake. So I'm gonna leave that there. And that's it really. Thank you for watching. Um, I know it's all a bit of a tangent goes over the place, but I just need to catch up on my life and things. And I, I'm not doing very good at it. I know, and I always apologize. That's my, oh, you know, that's me. So I'll apologize again now, but you know, that's genuinely what I've bought, genuinely what I've had. And um, thank you for watching. Please, if you got this far, give it a thumbs up. It really would help. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. If you haven't, really appreciate it. Please leave a comment. I'll, I always respond to my comments at the moment. And um, more importantly than anything else, please take care and stay safe. And we'll soon be doing Christmas, won't we? Hey, that'd be great one, won't it? Thank you for watching. Have a great Friday, Saturday, sorry. Bye.